Hey everyone, good morning, good Sunday morning. It is the 7th day, I believe, in September, in October, I should say. Which means we're 23 days away from Halloween, or 24 days away from Halloween. Hold on for a second. Right, so about that, somebody was coming by on the bike. Uh, but yeah, today is the 7th, I believe, day of October. We're 24 days away from Halloween. And, you know, recently, courtesy of Amazon.com, I received, in that first big package you saw, I received... One of the things I received was the DVD, was the complete series, so far as we know, of Marvel's anime version of X-Men. Now, from what I saw, I have to say it looks pretty good. I mean, I like how it's animated, I like how it's drawn and everything. It looks really, really good. Now, it got me thinking, you know... Marvel's been on, I guess Marvel along with some other studios, have been on a bit of an anime kick lately. You know, a couple years ago, DC had some several anime studios do the Gotham Knights th- um, feature, which I thought was good. So it got me thinking, what other properties could get the anime treatment? And of course, being a fan of the blue blur, if you know what I mean, I thought to myself, well, what if he could get the anime treatment? Now, I know you're thinking, yeah, Brian, he's already gotten the anime treatment. It's no big deal. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm not just talking about Sonic X or the OVA or anything like that. I'm talking more along the lines of what if he ended up getting the anime treatment for what's going on currently in the comics. Now, let's say this storyline, or any other past or future storyline, or even present, either it's the main comic or the universe spinoff, or any other spinoff, got the anime treatment. Do you think it would be good? I think it would be. More so that I think it'd be good if they tackled this storyline here. And let me explain. You know, Ian Flynn, give him credit, where credit has to be due, is doing his best to try to make this his masterpiece. He's trying his best to get people to like this this story. And for what it's worth, to me, he's doing a heck of a, well, not a heck of a job, he's doing an okay job. To me, he's doing an all right job. He's doing a semi-decent job. I'm not trying to give him all credit, but to his credit, he's doing a semi to possibly decent job. Much to some people's chagrin, and much to people's, much to, and much to many people's pleasant surprise. Or much to the pleasant surprise of many other people, I should say. But the question, but the thing is, I look at the storyline, even though I have not read any issue, and I know people get on me about that, so go ahead, get that out of your system if you want to. But the point I'm trying to make is, I think this storyline, after it's all said and done, would be a great thing to be adapted into an anime series, even if it's just a temporary anime series, summer series, whatever you want to call it, to be aired. And I'm not talking just, you know, I'm not talking, oh, oh, let's air it for kids of all ages. No. If Sega would allow it, and I don't know if they would, I mean, heck, they allowed them to do the OVA, which has some obscenities and stuff like that. Um, I'm pretty sure if they said, okay, for this story arc, you can make it an anime, and you can kind of make it a little dark, and okay, you could have it shown on a certain network, like say Cartoon Network, or let's say uh, Toonami, or whatever, or even G4, at night, just like the Marvel animes were. And to me, when I think about that, 
I say to myself, I say to myself that that would be awesome to see that come to life. I mean, you take a look at how well, as some people put it, the artwork is done by Tracy and Steven, and then you combine that with an anime, and then you get someone like an anime artist in there to do anime versions of those scenes to be seen on television, it makes it even better. But the question is, do you think it would be adaptable for anime? I think it would be. I really do. I think Endgame would be an adaptable anime, no doubt about it, the Endgame saga. I think even, believe it or not, I think the Iron Dominion saga would be an adaptable anime. I even, yeah, go even go as far as to say that do the do an anime adaption of the comic book adaption of Sonic Adventure, and that would be a great anime. The point I'm trying to make is the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book is good enough. Its stories, the characters we know from the Saturday morning cartoon, from Sonic X, and directly from the comic, are great characters to be, in my opinion, given that anime treatment the great characters to be given that anime treatment and I truly think I truly think in my opinion it can be done and I think somebody's even and I think somebody out there I'm not not trying to say this is true or not but I think somebody out there is already considering doing an anime based on one of these comic book stories as Sonic the Hitchhog uh, the main comic Sonic the Hitchhog universe as well as some of its spin-offs. I feel somebody's already considering it. I mean, heck, you got Mobius years later. Who wouldn't want to do that, probably? Or, heck, you got the silver arc that they did in Sonic Universe. The first one with the alternate future freedom fighters and all that. Do you know what I mean? I mean, who would not want to animate that? Who would not want to probably get both Sega and the Image Corporation and Archie together and say, hey, I want to do an anime adaption of that crossover, Ken Pe- as much as I hate to say this, that crossover Ken Penders did years ago with Sonic characters and Image characters. Who would not be willing to do that? Who would be not wanting to do that? I mean, that would be, to me, as much as I don't like Ken Pen. And this for what he's doing right now, I think it would be a great, I think it would be a great uh, addition to the anime, to an, into a great adaption into an anime, I should say. So, but again, it's just my thought. You know, it's just my thought, and that's really all I can give on it. It's just my opinion. You know. And to me, it's like if Marvel and DC can get this stuff animated, why can't Sega and why can't Archie, you know? You know, yeah, I know Sega got Sonic X and the OVA, but I'm talking like comic book-wise, why can't they? I mean, don't tell me you guys wouldn't want to see a great opening like you have with Marvel's X-Men and all that. You know, given to the Sonic cast. I mean, come on, don't tell me you wouldn't want to see that. Because I would. But... We'll just have to wait and see exactly what occurs in the future. Because I believe, I firmly believe, someone's thinking about that right now. Somebody's looked at these animes by Marvel and even DC that have been, well, basically, made these animes that Marvel and DC have had made in Japan. And they're saying to themselves, you know what? If they could do it, we could do it. So I wouldn't be surprised in the near future if it happens. But that's all I'm going to say for now. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Do you agree? Give me a video response if you like. And I'll talk to you all later.